YouTube, how's it going? Swamp Piper 84 coming your way today with another piping review. And today's piping review is uh, special to me because I'm going to be showing off something that is uh, means a lot to me. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. Right now, I'm smoking my country gentleman that I uh, got from Pie and Coffee's contest. Smokes awesome. I love this thing. I love a country gentleman. I have like four of these things. So. Awesome, man. Thank you to Pie and Coffee. In it, I'm smoking GLP Sixpence, which I am running low. I need to pick up some more. Uh, great blend. If you've been smoking for a little while, want something uh, a little different, uh, maybe a little step above the normal you know, starter blends, check out some GLP's blends, especially Sixpence. I'm sure you'll like it. But today's review will be of one of my guitars. Uh, I've been playing guitar for many years. I uh, started when I was 12 years old. I'm 31 now, so 19 years. It's quite a long time. But uh, I'm going to show off this guitar because it means a lot to me. It's uh, a very special guitar. Uh, it's a guitar that I've wanted for a long time since I saw the, uh, the movie Crossroads with Ralph Macchio and Joe Seneca way back in the, the 80s. I can't believe it's that been that long since the 80s, but whatever. Um, this guitar, uh, it's a great guitar. I'll show it to you right now. Enough talking about it. Might as well show it to you right now. This beauty right here. That. Fender Squire Telecaster. Like I said, I saw it in the movie uh, Crossroads back in the day, in the 80s. Uh, Ralph Macchio was playing it, and it sounded awesome, looked awesome, and well, got this when I was like 29, 30, so I've only had it for a couple years, but it was something that I really, really enjoyed uh, picking up, and I was happy when I got it. So, without further ado, let me get into this review. Guys, we got a closer look at the guitar right here, and... Uh, Little dog Moki laying on the chair right there. But <clears throat> right here we got two single coil pickups. Give a little twang to it. That's a little bit more rocking sound. That's a little bit more of a country sound down here. Right there, the little switch right there is the pickup selection. I'll go through that a little bit later on when I actually play this thing. You get the volume and tone knobs right there. Nice black pick guard with the, uh, the butterscotch blonde. Uh, coloring and grain. Uh, I named this one Scarlet after uh, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Hey. Everyone has their crushes, right? And uh, moving up, we got the, the fretboard and up here to the headstock or it has Squire Telecaster by Fender. Of course, this is the, uh, the cheaper version of the Telecaster, but you know what? It still sounds great to me and I love it so that's all that matters to me so give me a second and I'll plug this thing up and I'll give you guys a little listen to it alright guys got the guitar right here and uh, right now I'm on this pickup right here and uh, play a little something and uh, hopefully not make a fool of myself so there we go see how it has that little twang sound to it twang twang to it but moving it up here in the middle switch so it has both of these right here has a little bit fuller sound you know. then we get up here it's a little bit more of a rock and sound more aggressive. But yeah, 
that's on the clean sound. We're going to go ahead and uh, add a little bit of distortion here. Keep it on this up here and uh, hopefully rock out a little bit. So. got that more aggressive just attack to it and then we go ahead and add a little bit of effect to it come down here do a little Adds a little bit more depth to it down here, but as you can tell, this is a, uh, a versatile guitar. It's uh, I think this is like 150 on Amazon. So if you're uh, thinking about getting into guitar at all, or you have somebody in your life, uh, a kid or something like that, that you know is looking to get a guitar and you want to get them something of quality, pick up the Squire Telecaster. Uh, like I said on Amazon, it's like a buck 29, buck 30 get it with shipping it's like a buck fifty so go check it out and uh as always guys until next time peace